Lon, I'm looking at these uh, 2022 commits. We got 10 hard commits right now. It's the number one class in the SEC, number two in the nation. Of course, a long way to go, but we know that's going to hold in terms of top five for sure, we would think. So um, who stands out to you? Who do you like? Are there any other targets that we could expect may commit soon? Shamar Stewart, uh, strong side defensive end. I <laughs> This guy is absolute wrecking ball. I mean, LSU has had great, you know, we've we've got a great track record of bringing in defensive linemen from Florida. Um, you know, Bryce Langston just came in, and uh, he looks like you know, Coach Orgeron called him potentially the most talented defensive lineman he's recruited at LSU. That's incredible, and Shamar Stewart is just like it, a different kind of Bryce, Bryce Langston. He's more. He's not as big as Bryce Langston. Bryce is really a beefy, beefy defensive end who could even be moved inside. Shamar is a 6'5", 240, just, I wouldn't call a tweener, but he's extremely versatile. I, this guy is so fast. And I really would love to see what Shamar Stewart could do with LSU's defensive line, especially with all the guys we have in 2021 moving into 2022. Uh, seeing Shamar on a line with, with guys like Ojolari, Ali Guy, Jaqueline Roy, Mason Smith, Landon Jackson, Savion Jones. I mean, that would just be outrageous. Uh, but, you know, there's just a lot of different interesting moving pieces here. You know, Earl Little Jr., who I said last time, I, I really felt like he was, you know, moving towards LSU. I've heard some more news updates on her a little junior that, you know, are making me feel a little more 50-50 about this. Saban told him that he's his number one corner on the board, which, you know, we'll see if that's to be to be believed, but it looks like Saban is going hard after him. Um, Earl Little Sr. Well, seemed to be more uh, partial to, to for Earl Jr. to be going to Alabama rather than LSU. Um, he seemed to kind of have that Patrick Sertain kind of mentality of LSU don't win championships. Uh, Alabama does because, um, as, uh, as written in coach Orgeron's book, there's a part where Pat Sertain, the first tells, uh, coach O Pat Sertain, the second can't come to, uh, LSU because LSU don't win national championships. And then the next year we won a national championship. So I just wanted to highlight that and how Earl Little Jr., you know, if you want to win a national championship, you want to be a top five DB pick in the NFL draft, come to LSU, bro. Also, you know, Trevante Citizen, things are cooling off with him. I, I don't feel like he's coming to LSU. LSU are really stacked at running back already, but we are still looking for two more key backs this class. I'm I'm kind of wondering if Trevante Citizen is in that category or if he's really – or if LSU are kind of cooling on him. I'm still kind of wondering about that. Aaron Anderson, underrated receiver, just committed to LSU, 12th, in, 12th uh, position guy in the state for Louisiana, 12th receiver in the state. I think Aaron Anderson is being really just underappreciated. I think he could be a very special player at LSU. But um, we're still to see. We will uh, note that Patrick Sertan still got his national championship. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Year, a year later, though. But, yes, okay. yeah, he did indeed. 